All right, so serving others. That's what we're talking about tonight. We lead in one way or another. The question is, in your leadership, in the way that you're influencing others, is God getting the glory? Is our Lord getting the glory in the way we lead others? So to be a good servant leader, to work on that thing, there's prayer involved. There's prayer because sometimes you just don't feel like doing that. Well, what is that? That's anything you just don't feel like doing to service another. You know, we have to uh, think about how, how am I serving? How am I representing God? Do I show the people that, you know, I'm around, that I love them? Do I show them empathy? The other day I was watching a little segment on empathy and sympathy. And they said sympathy is pretty much, you know, people are telling you about their problems and you like, you know, they, they just poured their heart out to you and you're just like, you know, okay, I get it. Yeah, yes, you know, I, I get what you're saying. You're trying to do this and that, but yeah, can I get you something? That's, that's sympathy. But empathy which I was really surprised. I was like, oh, it says empathy is when the individual's telling you about their problems, you say, you know what? Thank you so much for sharing that with me. I'm, I'm glad you, you felt comfortable to share that with me. And I'm sorry for what you're going through. And that's showing empathy. Empathy is what's required of a servant leader. Jesus, I just talked about that. He meets us where we are. Where we are, that's where he meets us. Thomas, you know, I was talking about Thomas. Thomas walked with the Lord for the three years. But at the end, when the disciples came back to tell him that Jesus is alive, Thomas said, I won't believe it. I have to see it. I need to see his hand. I need to see his side. Jesus came back again, and he said, Thomas, touch my hand. Thomas, put your hand in my side. He met Thomas where he was because he, he knows you. Every one of us that are on here tonight, he knows who you are. He knows what it, what it takes to reach you. So guess what? As a servant leader, we need to know what it takes. Now, I will say some of us, I already know what it takes to reach someone. The thing is, will we do what it takes? Will we take the time to meet them where they are? That's the challenge. That's the challenge. And I pray you all pray for me. I'm going to pray. I am going to pray for you all, but I need prayer there. We have to meet people where they are. That's a part of being a servant leader. That's how you become a good servant leader. You listen, you hear the needs of the people, and then you try to meet it. You're not going to be able to meet every need, but you know someone who can help. You got to reach out. You got to talk to people. You got to hear from them. Uh, let them know you love them. I'm not a person that talks on the phone all the time. I'm not going to call all the time, but I will say that my friends know that I love them. They have to know it. So being a servant leader, you let people know you care. No, you don't have to be in their face 24 seven, um, or not at home in good situations. Can you reach out and say, girl, how you doing? Or, hey, man, what's going on? That's what a servant leader does. So tonight we've talked about being a servant leader because Jesus was a servant leader. 
he was the greatest demonstrator of how we are to lead as servants of God. And in our serving, we have to think more highly of others than ourselves. We're putting others before ourselves. So I'm going to encourage you, you all encourage me in prayer, uh, that we will be selfless in this journey. So I'm going to say tonight, thank you so much uh, for joining me.